Hey everybody, good morning. Grandpa Adler Farms. Hey look, check this out. First thing, no stocking cap, no coat, t-shirt, short britches, 72 degrees early this morning. Oh man, so nice. Yeah, if you watched my last video or maybe the one before, uh, we just had a cold thing go through here. We're gonna get uh, Grandma out here and we'll do a little uh, garden update later on, okay? I got a chance to work some of it. Do a little cleaning up, a little maintenance. Uh, welcome to all the new Adler Farms family members. We've added a few last few days. Uh, we appreciate you coming along. Welcome and thank you to all those who've been with us for a long time and all the support that you give us. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hey, I'm gonna get on my pedestal a little bit today. Do I ever do that? Y'all, do you ever? I don't do that, right? Grandpa doesn't do that. Or does he? Uh, Today will just a little bit, a little something, something, just about something. A couple of comments that nothing, nothing super negative. Just uh, I think I just need to uh, do a little bit of educating, okay? And we're gonna go down here and take care of the animals like we always do. And I got a little hay to give them, and it's a little cloudy today, but I did get you a sunrise. I hope you like that. That was a pretty one. You know when I come out in the morning, we have a lot, and I know somebody. Look at here. We have a lot of honeysuckle. That's growing right up that tree. Oh, you know what? We got some over there. I got some all the way up and down the, up and down the driveway and other places. The wild raspberries and blackberries are, are, are busting loose down there on the driveway. I can't wait to go pick some of those with you. Hang on, we haven't done this lately. We ain't done this lately. That's a girl. You gonna jump on me? Yeah, here it comes. Oh, okay, got, oh, got you. I got you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I'm against, oh, that's a good girl. I get kisses and all kinds of yeah, sniffing going on. That's right, did Grandpa brush his teeth this morning? I did, I did, you smell, <laughs> minty fresh, Grandpa. Oh goodness, let's go feed somebody, okay? Oh, that's, oh man, vintage zoomies. This morning, you're feeling good? That a girl. I love to see her do that. That's just having, she's just having a good time. There you go. There you go. That's a good girl, Smokey. When we're shedding, hang on. I think I swallowed a pound of dog fur. It's all good. The goat's saying, okay, enough of that silliness. Batman, Pennyworth, Fox, Brothers. Oh, listen to that pitiful sound you make. Let's check on the Cooney Coonies. Hey, good morning, girls. Good morning. That's Bella on the left, Olivia on the right. Oh, we're growing. Just give me a minute. Morning, birds. It's a great day. Magneto, Sassy, Gray. Come on, Smokey. Your turn, girl. Here we go. Come on, get in here. It's not supposed to rain today. Just starting out a little cloudy. Supposed to be up to about 85, 85 degrees, which is fine with me. Might get something done today something constructive a lot of you have been wondering about our youngest boy and seeing the whole family together and that kind of thing if you watched the last video you were we were all together for kyle and chad's birthday party the surprise birthday party that ray set up for chad but we celebrate them both because they're both on the same day but matt was in there the whole family we had a great time and if you're wanting to see everybody together watch that video that way now you know everybody in the family all right let's uh let's keep going let's go feed the cooney coonies let's go feed the girls because they're excited here you go get over there okay start on that what i usually do with these two because they are really hungry first thing when i come down i'll give them their food it takes them quite a while to eat it and then i'll uh i'll come back in and we'll hang out with them and see if they went to give them some belly rubs right now all they want to do is eat right there we go yep Smokey here. Hang on a minute. Let me get your, get your treats. Hang on, girl. One, two, three. This is part of the pedestal I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get on it for just a little bit. Those treats that we give Smokey, some of you said, some of, them, some of you very kindly said, hey, she's supposed to have four. You're only giving her three. Aren't you depriving her of something that she really needs? Well, someone actually got pretty, pretty, pretty nasty about it. You know, it was one of those, how dare you not give her four instead of three? 
Well, first of all, you have to know Grandpa. Uh, my, I, I have studied supplements and things for years and years and years, and I am no expert. But I do know this. Those treats right there are not medicine or anything like that because she has a problem that needs to be treated medically that has to be a certain dosage for her to survive. Those treats are a supplement to her diet. They have glucosamine and chondroitin in them for her joints. I've also taken that myself. All of us produce chondroitin and glucosamine. It's in our cartilage. Sometimes we may not have enough. It does help as you get older, you know, to help your joints. It may help, it may not. You know, I have taken it before. I didn't notice a lot, so I don't, I don't take it anymore, but that's not to say uh, th that it won't work. But for Smokey, even she, even animals have uh, chondroitin and glucosamine that they produce in their body so much. So this is just kind of a booster. You know, when you give them something like that, generally when you start out, it is by weight. 50 to 75 pounds, it says give them three. 75 to 100 says give them four. Well, she's easily 75 pounds. I don't know if she's over 100 or not, but she's 75. I'm guessing maybe 90. I don't know, something like that. Uh, but uh, when you initially take something like that, they do what's called the loading phase, where you take more than you need, and then you back it off because it gets in your system and stays in there. And like human beings, or like, you know, when you take something like that, if you take excess, it could be harmful or it could, you know, your body just expels it. Now, they do recommend the four for her, but given her three, that's not depriving her of anything. You know, we could give her four, uh, but, but uh, uh, giving her three of those does not hurt her. Like I said, it's, here she comes. It's not medicine. It ain't medical. You know, she's been running around. She ain't having any problems. She's not limping. She's not doing anything. You know, uh, there's nothing in it that's a stimulant or anything that helps her any, in any other fashion, folks. So there, how's that? You feel all right? You feel all right. We saw the zoomies this morning, didn't we? We didn't see any limping, did we? No. So you think three is okay for right now? I think so. I think we're okay. Hang on a second, do I have a bone? Oh, I do. Looky there. I don't mind people asking questions and calling me out on stuff at all. I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert at this stuff. I watch other videos, I read, I study. But there's one thing that, that I would encourage anybody to do when you have something like that going on, look it up, look it up, do your own research, you know. I, I, don't, I don't care who you are, you know, if you're an expert at something and you tell me, hey, do this or do that, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to look it up and find out if uh, 10 people agree with you before I do it, especially if I give something to these animals. All right. Now, it just so happens, also, somebody gave me something for the chickens, uh, and I'm going to explain that to you. And I, I really think I like it. So, you know, I did some research, and I think it's a good idea. So we'll talk about that, too. But I looked it up before I gave it, put, you know, used it on the birds. Uh, yesterday, I came down here. Yeah, she's in there sound asleep. You can't see her because she's dark. I don't know if you can see her. Hang on a second. Yeah, she's right in there. Now, what I did yesterday, I'm not going to wake her up and bring her all the way up here just to eat. So yesterday morning, I put this in her bowl. And then when I came back down, uh, it was gone. So she had eaten it. But the cool part of it is she was out here grazing on this grass, doing great. I've got her down, there's one quart, one quart, that's only four cups of feed. And then later on in the day, I'll only give her about half of that. So we'll put that in there. You know, used to, I had that whole bottom of that bowl filled up, but I'm not gonna do that anymore. Why am I whispering? I'm afraid that I'll wake up a pig. That's right, it ain't just a pig, that's Miss Lola. Let's fill up her wallow. Oh, look. Magneto and the ladies, look, I know what you're wanting. Probably an egg, but here, you want some, want some pig food? Go on. There you go. Go on, look at Sassy. Are you kidding me? Pig food, let it look. You on your little stinks. Well, they're wanting an egg. And I have to be honest with you, I'll give them an egg when I won't give it to the others because, oh, there's a different situation. When they eat the, when they, when they eat the eggs, 
Ain't nobody sees it but them. I'm gonna show y'all something. See Smokey watching those pigs? Isn't that something? I've not seen her do that. I don't know if she's still trying to get used to them, very curious about them or what, but I'm not quite sure, but that's pretty, pretty cute. Oh, look. Oh, looky here. Looky here. Uh-oh, my hose is squirt. Uh-oh, sorry, Lola. Oh, squirted Lola. She woke up, coming up for breakfast. Well, while that's filling up, we'll come over here and give her a little, give her a little petting. Hi, Miss Lola. Good morning. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? How are you doing, Miss Lola? Oh, boy. Yep, got to get a little scratch. And boy, her, her uh, fur is just, oh, hi, Trigger. It's just as coarse as it can be. She's so sweet. Grandpa, you're bothering my breakfast. All right, we'll be back. We'll come back later, Mr. Fox. Let's give the last little bit of this hay in here to you boys. They really like this new hay that I've given them. It's really pretty. It's very green, too. I like that. It's kind of green, pretty green. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, Mr. Fox. Yeah. How are you doing this morning? How are you doing this morning? Uh-oh. You hear short stack? He's hungry. Well, that's pretty right there, too, if y'all can tell that. Sun peeking through the trees. I like that's very, that's very cool. What's up, P Dub? What do you know, P Dub? Smokey, you hoping that they, fling, you hoping they fling some over your way or something or what, huh? You hoping they fling some over your way? Hey, did you just peck at me, huh? Did you just peck at me? All right, hang on. Short stack. You stinker. He's funny. When I say he's aggressive, he is nothing like, he, he's, uh, he's harmless. It's kind of comical how he comes up to me and kind of charges me a little bit. Say, oh, you're no threat. You're no threat, buddy. So what I've been doing, come here, let's get over here. Come here, come here. I've been mixing up. I'll take the wormies and the, and the scratch and I, and I put it in, a, in, the, in the scooper, kind of mix it up to where they get a little bit of both. Instead of separating, separating them like I normally do, you know. Mags, there's Magneto and the ladies right out there. Fighting, there you go, right there. Oh no, I see a goat coming. I saw Batman out of the corner of my eye. And there goes P-Dub. Short stack, what are you doing? Now all the goats are over there eating it. Here you go, we need out of Grandpa's hand. There we go. These girls look good. See, I think I counted, we got 14 hens in here. Here's short stack. No, he won't eat out of my hand. 14 hens in here with short stack. I think we've got 16 over there in the uh, big chicken pen with foghorn and the two turkeys. I think there's 19, 19 birds over there all together and 15 here. But there's plenty of room for everybody. And I'm going to keep these here and chad will be taking those there in the big pen here we go so that'll work out pretty good look there's some over here here we go come on here we go now i know i probably give them more scratch than you all would i know i give them more wormies than you all would but ours don't free range so they uh look, can you see him batman you can't get in there and eat that scratch, young man. Stop it. Goats. Goats. You birds should bleed the goat. Look at him. I'm going to have to put the lid on it so he thinks, so he don't think he can get to it. Oh, man. Gotta love the goats. All right, kids. Are we good? Are we good? So anyway, I, I may give them a little more than y'all would. It don't seem to hurt them a bit. They seem to be doing just fine. They like it. And like I did, let's see, last night, I went out and collected some grass. I got some mint over there and they just loved it. So every day they get some, uh, I call them greens. What are you gonna call them? I give them some grass. I even cut branches down and put them in here with leaves on them so uh, they can have a variety. And putting this straw down in here, even though it's still a little soggy this morning has really helped a lot. Oh, you're fine. Really helped a lot. All right, let's, uh, 
Can we move on? Let's see. We got to get. Let's get you some fresh water. Hang on a minute. I'll get you some water. Shouldn't be any eggs this morning. I collected a bunch last night. Look. Look at this. Hang on. Can I get that? Look. Nose to nose, right there. I haven't seen that yet. Look at that pig. Oh, isn't that cute? Look, look at her laying down there. What you think, Smoke, huh? You making friends? Good girl. It's pretty clear. It's not muddy. I, I washed them out, but they got some. Let's see. Let's go over here. Oh, that's magnet. Oh, boy. I only got one place to go, Smoke. Look out, girl. Here it comes. Go out there in the middle. Is there a wormy under there? Is there anything under there? Did you see anything here, kiddo? One of these days, I guess I need to name these birds. I don't know how I'm going to tell them apart. They were all Bertha. I call them all Bertha, except Goldie and Blondie. Short stack. Making their chicken noises. Here we go, kids. Everybody in here content, got some fresh water. All right, everybody's good in here. Oh. Playtime with the brothers. Are you playing? Hmm? So we love each other, Grandpa, we really do. Oh, Bella. I'll be in there in a minute. Let me greet them chickens taken care of. I'll be in there in a minute. I'll be in there in a minute. Just give me a minute. Hang on, I'll be in there in a second. Hang on. Yeah, it's all right. Let's keep things in order, buddy. Let's keep things in order, girl. There we go. She's waiting. She's waiting. Here we go. All right. You know what? I hope... I think I know where I can find you an egg. I'll, I'll get you an egg. I think she's just now starting to shed big time. She's been holding back. Guess what time it is? It's the weekly worm game show. You ready? You ready, Foghorn? Here we go. Sis. Ninja. Sing it with me. Are you guys ready? It's the worm game. All right, we'll check this one first. Little red. Little red. You're interrupting the worm game. Ready? Go. Look, get him, get him. Three or four worms right there, get him. Come on. Anybody can play, but some of you just don't figure it out. Little Red, you're usually down there right in the middle of it. What's your deal? What's your deal, huh? You wanna do the other one? Hang on, let's do the other one. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, look, is there any worms under there? I don't see one worm. Uh oh, that's Magneto. How about wormies the other way? You wanna do it this way? Come here, let's do some scratch. Y'all want some scratch? Come on. Here, let Grandpa get down here. Come on, let's get down here. Come here. Let's let's practice good, good friend. Oh, look at that. Let's let's uh, practice getting along here. Some of you eat out of that. All right, hang on. Here you go. Hang on, Foghorn. Let's get some spread out here so everybody can get a little bit. I know. Hey, that was my hand, Foghorn. That was my hand again. And again. Hey, that's my hand. Ain't nothing in there. You're... You're nailing me and I ain't got anything in my hair. Hang on, buddy. I got you. Oh, mercy. Are we hungry? Look at that big fella. You hungry, buddy? There we go. If y'all notice, I don't have any of those uh, saddle dresses on any of the girls, and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. Hey, you're going to knock my, the worms over. Look at this right here. She's trying to get into that 
wormy bucket. Here, there you go. And I'll tell you here in a little bit why. Let's get them, let's get them fed. Okay, here, here we go, right there. Here we go, turkey. Here we go, turkey. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh man, I tell you what, that old boy takes a chunk out of your palm of your hand there. You're spoiled rotten. Yeah, you are. Easy back there, ninja. Easy, ninja. Easy. I know the wormies are in there. I'm getting there here in a minute. Boy, they know. They know what's in that bucket. Don't, don't think they don't. Y'all ready for the wormies? Hmm? Oh, yeah. By the way, somebody said, you know, corn, and I knew this. I know this. I know it because I looked it up. Mr. Google is your friend. I looked it up on the interweb a long time ago. When chickens eat corn, it it uh, helps them, uh, it's kind of a heat, it heats them up on the inside, you know. I don't know how it does it, don't care, but it just does. I believe it, because more than one person said it. But, so somebody said, if you give them corn in the summertime, it'll make them too hot. Well, there's like 14, I counted them, Tw 16, 12, 14, I don't know. There's some corn in here. But if you divide up all this corn amongst all these chickens, I don't think they're getting enough in there to uh, heat them up too, too, too much. And, and, and I gave it to them all last summer. So I, I, I think uh, I'm not too worried about giving them corn in, in this scratch. I think it's negligible. That's my opinion. You know what? There's people out there know a whole lot more about it than I do. And if you don't want to give your chickens corn, don't give your chickens corn in the summer. You know, but until ours show some form of stress i don't see what's wrong with giving it to them right now i don't know that's just me all right now here we go look at this lined up here look at there all right kids yep that's what they want wormies don't y'all tell don't tell me wormies are bad for them don't tell me i know giving them more than they should whatever here you go big boy here you go foggy there you go mr foghorn leghorn i say i say i say grandpa don't listen to anybody out there. You just keep giving us wormies and scratch. Right, big fella? That, 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 that's right, Grandpa. That's right, Grandpa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me throw some down here to the turkeys. I got to spread it out for the turkeys because they... Uh... Mags right there. Here you go. Sometimes them turkeys kind of keep their distance down there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Bard rocks, I know. Rhode Island Reds, we got one New Hampshire Red, that's Little Red, yeah. And these ladies here, I know, I know, that's Spice. And then Foghorn, you see this, you see that, see Foghorn and uh, Magneto. Yep, two big male egos right there. Come on, they, sh they shadow each other when they go back up and down the fence there. Man, I tell you what, I don't know who'd win in a in a fight there. I'd hate to mess with either one of them. I'd... Foghorn's a big old boy, but I tell you what, that Magneto, I think, I think he's got the attitude, man. You'd have to just, it'd take all day to whip that old boy. You know what? Magneto says, man, if you're gonna fight me, it's who you and whose army? That's what he wants to know. That'd be an all day sucker right there. All right. I think everybody's good. You're good. You're good. Come on now. At some point we got to call it, don't you think? You just might say there are some things you got to do. It's just all in the day's work, isn't it? It's still a little muddy out here, but it ain't bad. Sis, let me get some fresh water. Boy, somebody who poo pooed right there. That's a turkey. Man. Yuck. Uh oh, I got a little splash back on that. Ooh. Ooh. I might have to wash my hands when this is done. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Fresh water. Ah, there we go. There we go. Always makes me feel good when I give them fresh water. Makes me feel good. Here, let's get you some egg laying food. All right, you don't need any over there. Oh, there are some eggs in there. And a turkey egg up here. Somebody keep laying in big old turkey eggs. That'll be Smokies. Let me miss Smokey. Here, golly, there's several eggs in here. Wonder what the deal is. Did, they, did I miss them yesterday, huh? Did I miss these eggs? What? What? 
What's that? What's that noise? What? You're not getting an egg. No. There's no eggs in there either. No, 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 you're not getting an egg. I don't care. I don't care what the other guy did. You're not getting an egg. Quit begging. It's unbecoming of an adult chicken. Oh, don't give me that. Looking at me out of the side of that one eye. Yeah, get that eye on me. There's an egg in there. Let me see. Nope, no egg in there. I can't even do that. Uh oh, somebody's doing an egg laying song right now. What you think? All right, here we go. Let's talk about something else. The reason I'm not putting the dresses on the girls. See this? Somebody sent this stuff right here, if you can get that. It's called Pick No More. And it is a wound care, they're calling it a wound care lotion. All right, wound care lotion. And it does two things. Uh, it deters other chickens from picking on the ones that have like some kind of an injury. It's supposed to. Uh, if you look at the reviews and the ratings, they're real high. Some said it didn't work, some said it did. You know, uh, I have put it on here a couple of times. So I'm gonna try this for a while. It's called Pick No More. And it's, it, it helps in the healing of the wound. Uh, yes, you probably, I could, I could separate them, but you know, separate those chickens from the pack, but I don't. Foghorn, you guys need to just duke it out and get it over with or what? So anyway, somebody got us this. Uh, pick no more, thank you very much. Uh, by the way, they got us three bottles. That's just $10 a bottle, you know? I appreciate that tremendously. I did not know anything about this. So we're gonna try it on these birds. And uh, you know, I won't do it this morning. Uh, I'll probably do it this afternoon because it takes me a little while because you, <laughs> you gotta chase them down. And Foghorn gets a little upset and so we'll, uh, I appreciate whoever sent that, I, I mean it. We, we did get some more, uh, we got some more uh, chicken saddles. Somebody sent us some things that you can put on their beaks. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna try that or not. That might really be a challenge. I don't know if you put that, I guess on foghorn or something, I'm not sure, but that might really be something there. I'm not sure, quite sure how that would work. I haven't watched the video on that. All right, listen, we gotta get out of here and go, uh, go see uh, Bella and, and uh, Olivia. They don't even know that I'm in here yet. Uh-oh, she might know now. Hang on a minute. There they are. Now they know. Now you know. Hi, girls. Yeah, hi, good morning. Yeah, did you have a good breakfast this morning? That's it. Okay, you want your belly rub? You want your belly rub? Mm hmm Get your belly rub. Come here. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, you're laying right on your sister's nose. Now Bella is a little bigger than Olivia. I gave him actually this morning the prescribed amount of food that's recommended, which is really it's two cups a day, a cup in the morning and then a cup of course in the afternoon. But uh, you know me, I give him a little bit more, but I don't want to get in that habit. So I'm going to cut back a little bit again, you know, I talk about that a lot, but I just, I have to really be careful. So they are just so sweet. I like to be petted under the neck. This one, and, and Olivia just grunts the entire time here. Sweet girls, I'm looking forward to them growing up a little bit. We'll get them over in their new area. And yeah, not just yet, they're fine. There we go, there's one. There's a belly, there's one. Yeah, you're gonna go, oh, there's the other one. Little belly flop. There we go. Oh my goodness. Bella, it looks like you getting the lion's share of the food there, young lady. Hmm? Are you sharing with your sister? Are you sharing with your sister at all? Get your good fresh water. Get some fresh water. There we go. There we go. Now, if you've seen in my last videos, I put that big tub thing over here. And that takes up a lot of space. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little water in here because they've kind of made a little wallow. So I'm just gonna put a little water in there and make, wow, hear those birds? Woo! Put a little water in there and then that way they can wallow around in that. I think they'll enjoy that just as much. See you a little bit later. There's Smokey. I don't know how you sleep, Smoke, with all that noise. That's from the biggins. 
We got the big ones, and we got the young ones. That is uh, foghorn making most of that noise. Goodness. Everybody okay today? Huh? Yeah. Mr. Fox, everybody chilling? Everybody chilling? Boy. Yeah, we got to get you on a little lower cow diet, buddy. Everybody good? All right. Well, you can see after the morning feeding, everybody's just chill. Time to take a little, little nap. Everybody's quiet. Oh, she can take a little break. Cooney coonies. Yeah. All right, Smoke, we'll see you later. Even the birds kind of come out here and start chilling, laying down. I'm worn out, Grandma. I am too. You said we were going to go to the garden, but we're going to just end it right here. I lied. I know. Hey, the garden's still there, trust me. <laughs> I did work on it. We will wind a video up out in the garden, but I've been working down at the farm all day, and Grandma's been editing, and you know, it's been a good weekend, but a long weekend. It has been you a know, good, good weekend. Good weekend, but a long, is that right? Long weekend, good, yeah. Yep. But anyway, we'll give them a, we'll, we'll get out there in the garden, you know, but everything's, everything's good. Yep. You know, worked on a couple of things down there that I'm looking forward to showing in the next video, so you have to stay tuned. Yeah, how do I look, by the way? How's my hair look? I was a little worried. It's bad, isn't it? No. It's bad. No? It's Why? okay? You set it on fire, or? Well, no, I've just been down there looking, sweating and all that, and, you know, wasn't sure how I looked. If we worried about how we looked, we'd never be on any videos. Yeah, that's true. I'm Me and my up. capris with my big yeah. boots. And you know, that's what's weird. You know, I'm kind of getting so comfortable with not knowing, not caring how. <laughs> You're all family, <laughs> that is, right? That hey, is. We're just, we're just family. I mean, if one of the kids pulled up right now and I'm sitting here, I stink, I'm dirty. Lola, from behind, Lola comes up to me and pushes me down today. You know, I mean, who am I to go up against 300 pounds? It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> she just pushed me around like a rag doll. Anyway, yeah, Lola, Lola helped me out today. I was proud of her. But thank you all for two the birthday wishes for the boys. It, yeah. it, that that went really thank good. Y'all for watching. We appreciate it greatly. We love y'all. God bless you. So until next time. Bye. Bye bye.